Hey, it's Andrew from Time and Tide. Welcome to Time and Tide. I have a personal question to ask you. How old are you? I'm 45 and Frank Muller just turned 30. And to celebrate, they've taken probably the one thing you know about them very well, which is the Curvex case that you look at right here and on my wrist and they have updated it in a few important ways. Before we get into that story, I'd like to know one thing, aside from your age, actually, you can tell me your age and this fact, what are you wearing on your wrist today? I'm gonna to jump straight into mine. This is the Frank Muller Grand Central Turbion in 36, which I'll explain a bit later, which clocks in at 206,000 Australian dollars. If anyone can beat me on price, I will raise you. No, I won't, but tell me what you're wearing and tell me your age just for, just for fun. The reason I started with that fact about Frank Muller is that this gets to the heart of why I find this brand and young brands compelling. Their story is short. Their legacy is a fraction of brands that have been around for hundreds of years. So it makes it easier to get a bit of a span on the brand and the journey it's been on. I have been on a journey with Frank Muller. I have visited the manufacturer when I was young and, and very fresh faced before I had children. I'm, I'm probably gonna pull up some B-roll of that time. I was there with Nick Rudaz, who is still the man at Frank Muller. I also went there another time when I was less young and more rotund, and I tried to paint a Frank Muller crazy hours dial. So in the 30 years this brand's been going, for about the last eight, I've been trying to get under the hood to understand how this brand works. And as I said in the beginning, the one thing that is very clear to me about what is attractive about this brand, if I'm to choose one thing, it is this beautifully ergonomically pebble smooth sided case called the Curvex case. And believe it or not, this Curvex case has not evolved at all since 1992 until September of this year when the Grand Central Turbion came out. What's different about the new Curvex case? For starters, the name, it is now called the Curvex CX case and the adjustments or the evolutions of the design language of this case are the fact that it now has an invisible bezel. What does that mean? If it's invisible, you can't see it. You actually can, but it's beneath the extended sapphire crystal. So around the frame of the case, beneath the sapphire crystal, we have the option for another material. In this case, on the Grand Central Turbion, we have a titanium bezel beneath the sapphire crystal, which in this case sort of extends the, the dial to the edges and gives again this feeling of like a widescreen TV. It's quite nifty. The other change to this case is the fact that the strap is integrated into the case, which is a new twist. There are actually screws on the underside which allow you to change those straps yourself but that is really nicely integrated right into the case. And again, with that extended sapphire crystal uh, glass, it goes right to the edge of where the strap integrates. The other important change on the Curvex CX models is the Guilloche dial. This is a clue de Paris dial that has been interpreted by Frank Muller. And one thing that Frank Muller does is it's almost like an Alice in Wonderland type of distortion of reality, whether that's the crazy hours which have a movement that allows the, the time to move almost randomly from, instead of in a sequential pattern around the dial, it jumps to the different numerals which are placed in a haphazard manner. The numerals themselves are stylized and have this, this real character. And now we have this clue de Paris pattern which starts as really dense and the triangles that make up this clue de Paris pattern increase in size as you expand out to the edges. And in the center of the numerals, we have something of a peak and then these larger triangles slope down to the edges of the case. So we have a new dial pattern as well. Now all of that effort in terms of redesigning the guilloche pattern on the dial is, as the artisans at Frank Muller say, to create the impression of movement. And it is certainly a compelling backdrop for these numerals that I know are very hard to paint. Now we are talking about two versions of the Curvex CX today. The first, I'll start with the one that's not on my wrist. We have the Curvex CX36 time only, which has all of those features of the new Curvex case. It has also has a new strap, which is alligator on top and rubber underneath. So again, we're getting this slightly sportier integrated strap into the case and also with this really sporty rubbery underside. Now the all important specs for this watch, because we say 36, what does that mean? Which part of the measurement is 36? 36, and I've got my trusty calipers here, is the measurement from the case side to case side 
excluding the crown. So we're 36.5 roughly from case side to case side, and then we're around about 40 including the crown. Now the lug to lug is 52.65. So while this is being pitched at men and women, the lug to lug, and these are both the same specs, both models, you'll see that the lug to lug measurement is on the large side at 52.6, but because there are effectively are no lugs, it really sits within the frame of my seven inch wrist here. In terms of the movement, we have the Frank Muller in-house caliber MVD FM2536 SC, which is a automatic movement with 42 hours of power reserve, operating at a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Now, sadly, what I'm about to say about this movement cannot be seen through the closed case back. So I suppose in the tradition of fastidious watchmaking that is not all for the wearer's eyes, we have a highly decorated movement here. We have Cote de Genève and Soleil paper brushing on the bridges and the rotor. We have circular graining on both sides of the main plate. We have chamfering of the bridges, all the goodness, all of the goodness that frankly, I would love to see on this movement that I cannot. So despite there being a closed back, there is a wonderful secret for the watchmaker and the person that services this watch when they open it. Now moving on, to the Grand Show. This is the Grand Central Tourbillon in the new Cervex CX case. And aside from the obvious difference, which is that this model is in rose gold as opposed to steel, we have exactly the same dimensions, despite this one packing a very impressive Central Tourbillon. Now, this is of course, par for the course for Frank Muller, who have had, over the years, the world's fastest Tourbillon, the world's largest Tourbillon, and now we have this ingenious central tourbillon that does not just present the complication in the center of the dial, it also presents a really interesting way to read the time. Now in order to achieve a legible time display with a central tourbillon right in the middle of the dial, the watchmakers at Frank Muller have elevated the single bridge of the tourbillon, rising it above the dial, and then having open worked discs that rotate displaying the hour and minute. And in addition to that, we have the tourbillon cage itself making a full rotation of the dial every 60 seconds. So there is a second marker in the skeletonized tourbillon cage. So all in all, an ingenious way to display the time, to absolutely make a hero out of the grand complication, this tourbillon, and also to use the rotation of the cage to double as a small seconds as such. Now, the joy of watching this legible and spectacular and hyperactive time display is pretty much exceeded when you flip over this watch and look through the clear case back at this bottom half of the dial is occupied by a, a micro rotor with a superbly finished Frank Muller logo with Grand Central Tourbillon etched into the bridge there. And then the top half of the dial is the Soleil finished back of the power barrels that deliver four days of power reserve. And then there's uh, partially skeletonized sections of the case back with a Cote de Genève finish consistently across the bridges. So there's quite a feast for the eyes. Another small and pleasing touch is that the concave back of the power barrel is Soleil finished as we mentioned and with that extra changed surface and the way that the light plays in that concave space, you really get quite a light play off the back of that barrel that delivers four days of power reserve. Now the movement runs at 18,000 vibrations per hour and you will also see a sunray finishing to the micro rotor to complement that Soleil finished power barrel back. So there's a lot going on there in terms of movement finishing and obviously there's a lot going on on the dial. These two Curvex CX models complement eight references across the new Curvex CX collection. I won't go through all of them because there are lots of variations. We have diamonds, we have carbon, we have a lot of materials and precious metals and jewels to play with, being Frank Muller. So there you have it, after 30 years, the classic Curvex case that is by far the most recognizable thing about Frank Muller, in addition to their numerals and perhaps their crazy hours, has had an upgrade and has had the widescreen treatment applied, which makes it even more spectacular on the front. We hope you've enjoyed this video about two new models that sport the Curvex CX case. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.